guys, welcome to the next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. Today we're going to do an amped up version of the hip flexors and this time I'm going to add in some hamstring work as well for you. So a lot of times we're great at really working the posterior chain, you know, using the glutes and the hamstring, but we neglect with the same amount of like effort we ask them to do to sort of stretch them back out. So that's what this is targeting. Without further ado, if you have a block, please grab one. You're going to need it. If you don't have a block, get a really firm um, cushion. It's probably not the best. If you have a textbook, maybe back in the day we used to have phone books. Um, if you have one of those lying around, you could grab that. But if you, where you have, you know, at least a few inches off the ground where it's nice and firm platform. Uh, go ahead and come into a downward facing dog. Take your time here, pedal your feet, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Inhale, roll it forward to a plank pose, just trying to build some heat really quick, reaching from the crown of the head to your heels. Imagine a block between your forearms, hug in there. Imagine a block between your thighs, hug in there. And then exhale, lift your hips up and back. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee down. Straight your right leg. And then exhale, bend your knee, walk it forward, lift to your fingertips, look up. Take some time here. So you really want to imagine that you're pushing down with your left foot and knee and sending your hips forward. So opening up through all sides and then take your hands back down, lengthen your right leg. Try to get your chest as close to your thigh as possible. Keep a micro bend in your right knee as you lean forward. Take it back again, bending your knee, opening up. One more time, walk it back. Great. And then from here, walk it back to the front, tuck your toes under, lift your left knee off the ground this time. This time you're gonna walk it back, flexing your right foot, and then come forward, bending your knee, looking forward, opening through your chest. Again, walking it back, breathing over. Try to keep your chest as close as you can to your right thigh. And again, so you wanna pull your right hip back and reach either side of your rib cage over this right leg. Bend your knee, walk it forward, open it up. Last time right here, walk it back. And then bend your knee, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it forward, plate pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open up, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step it between your hands, low lunge. Drop your back knee down. And again, you're going to press into the top of your right foot and send your hips forward. So you're really opening up through both sides. And then you're going to take your hands down, straighten your left leg, but keep a micro bend in your knee. Really working on getting both sides of your rib cage over that left leg. Dig your left heel to the ground so you're opening through the hamstring attachment. Walk your hands back forward. And then walk it back. Walk it forward. Last time, walk it back. Again, try to keep your torso as close as you can to your thigh. Come forward this time, tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee off the ground. And then you're going to do the same thing, keeping that right knee lifted, walking it back. Bend your knee back over your ankle, looking forward. Walking back. And bending your knee. Last time right here, walk it back, keep your chest connected to your thigh. Come back to the front of your mat, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe it forward, plank pose. Exhale, resist the floor as you lower, chaturanga. Inhale, open it up, upward facing your cobra, pull your shoulders down and away from your ears, send your chest forward. Exhale, lifting your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and drop to your knees for a second. This is where you're gonna put your block or your platform for your foot. This block perfectly fits my foot. If you have a little bit of a larger foot, you might need to line up two blocks. From here, go ahead and lifting back up, down and facing dog, you're gonna lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot forward onto the block. So you may need to adjust, right? You're getting a little adjustment there. From here, I'm gonna keep the the knee um, hovering off the ground. So we're gonna lift up. This is where we're gonna get to our hip flexors. 
Exhale, take your hands back, hover your knee towards the ground. So this increases the distance, which means that it's going to be a little bit more intense on the hip flexor. Lift your back leg up. So the right knee stays as is. Exhale, take the hands back, hover your knee. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands back, hover your knee. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover your knee. Take your hands down. From here, you're going to straighten your right leg. Flex your foot towards your head. Again, keeping your torso right over that thigh. Bend your knee, look forward. Walk it back, keeping your thigh there. You can play with how it feels, right, between having your foot flat and having your foot flexed, right, just as you're breathing with that extended leg. You'll notice the hamstring attachment is really starting to open here. Okay. And then step it back. Downward facing dog. Move your block. You're going to lift your left leg up and back. You're going to exhale and step it right on top of that block. Great. And then from here, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hover your right knee towards the ground. Inhale, lift the arms back up. Just extend your right leg. Left knee stays where it's at. Exhale, hands back, hover your knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Take your hands down. Play with stretching your left leg back. And again, just moving your foot from flat on your block or your old school phone book to flexing back towards the head. Just moving. So hamstrings are one of those things where some people are naturally more inclined to have open hamstrings. I am not. So this is a great way for me to just go deeper, step it back into that often neglected area. From here, you're going to move the block, pushing back down or facing down. Go ahead and um, take your right foot to the front of your mat. You're going to just pivot and turn wide over your mat. From here, I just want you to bend from side to side, keeping your hands right between, you know, right underneath your shoulders. So you're just opening, shape shifting, moving from side to side here. And then after you've done that a few times, go ahead and drop the head down. Bend your knees nice and deeply. So what that's doing is allowing your hamstring attachments to the glute to release. And again, moving a little bit here side to side. And then once you start to feel your hamstrings release, you can drop the head down and walk your hands back. Right, so hand placement's up to you. You can have your hands directly under your, underneath your elbows. Right, You can walk your hands back behind you. Right, You can take your hands to your ankles. Right, so just trying to breathe here, stay here, opening up. Notice where the weight is in your feet. If it's all on the heels, shift some of it to the balls of the feet. Right, so it's almost a feeling of you may want to tip over, but you're not going to. But really trying to let the opening occur in the back of the legs. Take your hands down. And then shape shift your way back to the front of your mat. Step it back, downward facing dog. Drop to your knees.